Hello YouTube family, Facebook family, biological family, friends, and new acquaintances. I'm Carol Cortez on assignment that's called Mission Possible to bless both you and me, all of us. Welcome to AHEAD. That's an acronym for Achievers, Happy, Encouraged, Accomplished, and Determined. Today my subject title is, So What Shall We Do? And my subtitle is, Easily Say I've Arrived. With this broadcast, I'm going to be unapologetic because I'm going to be sharing some very significant Bible scriptures with you. When we go driving somewhere, we usually use the GPS system. And sometimes it helps us and sometimes it confuses us and takes us in circles. But nonetheless, there's one navigation tool that we all can use and it encompasses navigating through life and that is called the Bible. So I'm going to be sharing some scriptures with you that will bless you. I encourage you, please watch this all the way through. I've, I've been blessed with some good scriptures that is really going to shed light on some of the uh, concerns that people have and how to navigate through it. So I'm going to start off with um, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. And this is from the New Century Version. And it says, Seek first God's kingdom and what he wants for you. Then all your other needs will be met well. <laughs> I know I love my needs being met well, and he does that because I seek him first. Okay, and then you want to um, commit your ways to living for God. And this is the scripture is John chapter 3 verse 16 where it says, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not be lost but have eternal life. So that's one of the starting points. That's the starting point, believing in his one and only son, the sacrifice that he made for all of us. And then we have uh, the fact that we all need to, need to stay focused and not let circumstances and people distract us from where we want to go and what we want to achieve. So I'm going to share with you the uh, book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. It says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not yet see. We don't see it yet, but if we have faith, now faith, right now faith, that it will manifest, you know, that's the substance that's needed in our journey in life. Okay, and then we have to, um, we have to take action on what we believe and what we want. You know, we just can't believe and not take action. So I'm going to read the book of James, chapter 2 verse 17 through 18 it says faith by itself once again that's faith by itself if it is not accompanied by action is useless but someone will say you have faith I have deeds show me your faith without deeds and I will show you my faith by my deeds, meaning I took action and I made it happen. You know, and then you have to, um, for your own benefit, for your own benefit and for others, mankind's benefit, consider this scripture. That's the, uh, the book of James, once again, chapter 3, verse 8 through 17, and it says, But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil for full of deadly poison with the tongue we praise our lord and father and with it we curse human beings who have been made in god's likeness out of the same mouth comes praise and cursing my brothers and sisters this should not be can both sweet water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters,
Can a fig tree bear olives, or a grape vine bear figs? Neither can salt, salt springs produce fresh water. Who is wise and understands among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes with wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. Also in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 15 it says, if you fight and devour each other, what? watch out. If you fight and devour each other, watch out or you will destroy, be destroyed by each other. You know, we have to, um, in handling wickedness is up to God. We have to know this. Handling wickedness is up to God. I look, I like in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 32, verse 35, it says, it is mine to avenge. I will repay. This is God speaking. It is mine to avenge. I will repay in due time their foot will slip their day of disaster is near and their doom rush upon them and then also in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 17 through 21 it says do not repay anyone evil for evil but carefully but but be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone if it is possible as far as it depends on you live at peace with everyone do not take revenge my dear friends but leave room for God's wrath meaning God will handle it he can handle it better than you and I can and when he handles it he handles it right and then it goes on to say for it is written it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your in enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. You know... We need to aim to live peaceable with in, uh, peaceably and expect life's best. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 14, it says, Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, it says, without holiness, no one will see the Lord. And then it's all good to work out. It, 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 it's all going to work out in due, in due season. All of the difficulties and the challenges that we have, it will work out in due season. We don't have to stress ourselves, but rely on God. He knows how to fight a, better, a fight better than we do. Now, in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, it says, And we know that all things, all things God works for, the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purposes. Meaning it, it's going to work out for your good. Don't stress it. Stop, you know, browbeating yourself and others about complications you have with other people and, and you know, and with your own life. It's going to work out. Just know who to put your, who to put your trust in. And that's God. Okay. 
don't let circumstances and people trouble you. I like in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 through 7, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which pass all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Also in the book of Isaiah, four, chapter 41, verse 10, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Also in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 25 through 34, it says, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worry, add a single hour to your life? Meaning you're wasting your time worrying. And then it says, it goes on to say, if that is how God clothes the grass and of the fields, which is beautiful, which is here today and, to, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? you of little faith do so do not worry saying what shall we eat what shall we drink what shall we wear your heavenly father knows that you need them he knows your needs but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Meaning, it's got a, we got enough worries coming in the next day. Each day has enough trouble of its own. With all this, this information, like the um, movie character Dirty Harry uh, said, with you know all this information that's in the Bible, it should strengthen us so that we can just like the, the character in the movie Dirty Harry. We can say to circumstances, to people, to Satan, to troubles, go ahead, make my day. Meaning that you prepared yourself to deal with the challenges that's going to come. You're not always going to be strong, but you know what? Strengthen yourself to, so that you can show strength. Like they say, fake it until you make it. It will happen if you keep modeling yourself into showing strength and being strong. So in closing, I want to thank everyone who's given me a thumbs up for the broadcast that I've had. And also, I want to remind you that I have a lot of different uh, broadcasts on my YouTube channel talking about saving money successfully simplified and investing in corporate stocks simplified. Also, I cover the subject of protecting the jewel of being you while blessing others. So thank you for everyone that's given me a thumbs up. I ask that you please, if you would, share with me your comments, your suggestions, and your questions so I can know exactly that you're hearing and you're responding so we can dialogue together and I could be on point with blessing you with what you need and want to know. Also, I ask that you click on subscribe and choose to click ring the bell. When you ring the bell, you will automatically be updated on the most recent broadcast that I've uploaded onto my YouTube channel. So, in closing, I want to say, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and stay connected with me. And check in with me from time to time. I will be having guest speakers that will give you information from their perspective, their professionals, and I'm choosing them that when they step before you, they'll be prepared to bless you and bless you abundantly. Okay? Stay blessed, stay encouraged, and stay connected with me. Click on subscribe and ring the bell. Talk to you soon.